Hey everybody, uh, this lesson we're going to break apart ones to add, do some addition. This is uh, chapter four, the first lesson in our second grade textbook. So here's our common course strand for our groovy teachers. And then our question is, how, do, how does breaking apart a number make it easier to add? I like this lesson. This, is, this lesson's pretty slick. So we're going to use, this is called a tin stick right here. Do you guys have tin sticks? And this is a, a one block right there. Okay, so we're going to use 10 sticks and one blocks to, uh, uh, to help us um, uh, add some numbers here. And then we'll draw to show what we did. So here we go. We'll first do a 10 stick here. Okay, so here Greg reads 27 books about animals and 6 books about space. So how many books did he read? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add 27 plus 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some uh, 10 sticks for 27. So there's 10 right there there's 20 and then 7 I'm gonna stack them there's 25 right there so uh, this is a stack of five ones right there so we'll do two more to get 27 so there's 27 right there and then um, uh, for 6 plus 6 we'll just go ahead and add a stack of five ones plus one more is plus 6 right there and then what we can do is we can regroup these guys we can take these three and put them over here so then we have uh, five and then five more right there and we're going to be left with that leftover three right there so there they are they moved over so here's 10 20 25 30 so here's 30 and then 30 plus 3 that's easier to add than 27 plus 6 so we got it to a nice they call it a compatible number 30 so 27 plus 6 is the same as 30 plus 3 which is 33 okay all right so here think and so Greg read uh, 33 books all together right there and so we can do it this way also we can break this 6 down think of a compatible number that if we add to 27 well, I need three more to get the 30. So if we break that six down to three and three, and then 27 plus three gets us that 30 right there, and 30 plus three is 33, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and draw quick pictures, break apart the ones to make a 10, uh, and then we'll add and write the sum, okay? So here, 15 plus seven. Okay, so it says draw a quick picture. So I just drew a stick right there. There's 15, so here's 10. 10 plus 5 right there and then so we're going to go ahead and add 7 so I'll do 5 ones and then uh, 2 more after that to make 7 right there and then look at this if I grouped these two guys together 2 stacks of 5 gives us another 10 so there now we have here's 10 here's 10 more so now it's 20 plus 2 20 plus 2 is a little easier than adding 15 plus 7 so we get 22 okay how about this one 26 plus 5 okay so there's 10 20 there's 25 there's 26 okay 26 plus 5 and then what I'm gonna do is take um, uh, that group right there okay so here's a um, here's 5 and here's 5 more that's 10 so this is 10 20 30 so this becomes 30 plus that leftover 1 right there 30 plus 1 is 31 okay how about these guys here okay 37 plus 8 okay so here's 10 20 30 35 36 37 and then 8 is going to be a 5 with 3 more right there okay so what I'm going to do is take these two and put them right up on top of here it's going to give me another stack of five ones right there okay whoops we didn't need to see that yet that's just we're adding that in here so anyways so did you see that let me go back here so these two right there uh, are going to be added right there so when we add that, then we can, then we can go ahead and add this. So these two guys right here are going to be another 10 right here. Okay, so we're going to have 10, 20, 30, and these are going to get us 40. So it becomes 40 plus 5, which is 45. That's the same as 37 plus 8. Okay, here's what we had on that last one right there, 28 plus 6. So here's 10, 20, 25 here. This is 25. 26, 27, 28, and then here's 6 right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is take these 3 and stack them up over here. Okay, so I'm just going to move them right over there. Okay, so what I did is I took these 3 and I stacked them up. 1, 2, 3 right there. So if we do that, then I can group this 5 with this 5 to get 10. So then we have 10, 20, and those two together are going to give us 30. And then we got this leftover 4 right here, so 34. So 28 plus 6 is the same as 30 plus 4, and we get 34. Okay, you guys, I hope that made some sense, and take care.